Okay, there's some cool synths, some cool elements going on here. Ooh. Wow, okay, this is good. This is good. What's up guys, welcome back, my name is Sean, and today we're going to be reacting to Luna Art Eye Circle Ad Uncover and Art Front. So guys, we are getting into the last couple of B-sides from Art Eye Circle as of yet. I still hope that we are going to get more music from the different uh, subunits. For now, we have this uh, album, I believe it's the Max and Match album we are getting into, which is the uh, repackage of the Mix and Match, or it's the other way around, I don't quite remember. But we have a new intro called Ad, as well as two new B-sides called Uncover and Art Front, and it seems like Art Front is kind of like a combination of like taking Art, which was the intro of the uh, previous album, and then Girlfront, combining it into one Art Front. I'm not completely sure. So maybe there's like a a like co cohesive element uh, between the two songs. Maybe like the I don't know the instrumental or something. But we really don't know before we've listened to it. So for now, let's just get right into the intro to start off with Ad. Alrighty, we're starting off with uh, the intro. There are no lyric videos or anything, so we're watching the official audio. Let's go. Some a bit mystical. There are birds. Well, it sounds like birds, maybe. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So, and a very electronic uh, sound. Yeah, there's some cool synths, some cool elements going on here. Ooh. Okay. That could definitely have been made into a song. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so that was, uh, that was Ad, which was the intro. Immediately, what I, I felt from this intro was, it would kind of, kind of reminded me of, um, of Chetty's, uh, music video, her solo one, uh, the, uh, Love Cherry Motion, where she's, it reminds me of that field she's running in, where there are mirrors on the floor and stuff, where she looks into it and she becomes, like, that bat, she, everything turns upside down. That's kind of interesting, because that's at least the image I get in the beginning with when there's these nature sounds and stuff, and then we get into a bit more of an, an EDM, a bit more electronic sounds that were very um that were very present in all of the uh, songs in the in the first album in the mix and match album. I can see now that this is indeed the max and match. So uh, I can definitely see them still using their color in a sense, which I'm excited for. So let's get right into the first one, uncover. All right, Luna Art Eye Circle uh, uncover. We're watching this on the Random K channel. Let's go. Oh, interesting tone Chetty starts with. Oh, that's nice. It's like bright and hazy. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Oh, the flow of the scene, the melody is very nice. Hush. Okay. Wow, okay, this is good. This is good. Mm. Like Okay, Kim Lip. There are also the elements of the intro. Like these synths, electronic sounds. Cool bring back, okay. Okay. Interesting. Are you coming right now? Ooh, these pace changes they have 
a very nice fit. They kill him. Wow, okay. I love the sound. It's just so good. Their vocals. Their vocal tone, pitch. Ooh. Oh man, Jitsu got that bright. Ooh. Oh. I thought Kim Lip was going to extend that note, but no. The beat back here is so good. Get a Jana. I add to you huh? something about addition. These ad lips and harmonized parts right here are so good as well. There are many layers to that outro, which I adore. Oh, 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 okay. Interesting little, they gave us a shock there at the end. Okay, uh, Arai Circle Uncover. First of all, a very interesting sounding song uh, that I absolutely like. I really, really like how they've uh, they've taken these electronic sounds that are seamlessly, or not seamlessly, seemingly uh, very much um, the Arai Circle sound. These, um, what, what should we call it? Like these synths, these very heavy electronic sounds that are that are super cool and they use them in so such such cool ways. They have some really cool transitions and and weird in a sense ways of of jumping in between different uh in, in between different instrumentals between different flows of the song and everything which is really cool this time around they are using some nice uh bright vocals that are not that but they're not bright in like a, a uh in like a way that they hurt your ears because they are they're doing them kind of hazy they're doing like <laughs> Where, where it's kind of it's kind of soft even though it's bright and bright are obviously very spiky in a sense if that makes sense does that make sense it spikes your ears in uh, sometimes right when it gets that bright I also like how there are some parts of the song that are kind of kind of cold packs we have the ad we have the way Kim Lip sings EQ Lim at least for me that sounds like she's almost trying to say Eclipse right so that's pretty cool obviously the song itself is kind of sensual there are there's a lot more of a sensual meaning behind the lyrics I feel like um which I mean I guess it really fits in with uh, with their concept of being this uh, girl crush uh, concept, but I'm excited for the next one. Let's get right into art front. Alrighty, uh, art eye circle art front again on random case lyric video channel. Let's go. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's the same bass line. You know, it's not a bass, but you know what I mean. Oh. But we don't have the... Quite the same intro, okay. Like, the instruments was the same, but... Okay. I mean, it's one of my favorite instrumentals from the Luna discography. It's the Girlfront instrumental. Oh. Oh. Is it this? It's the same lyrics too, right? Is it not? I think it is. A to C. Yeah, okay. Interesting. But it's, it's just slower. It's not as upbeat, which is interesting. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it does feel like a bit of a... Like, it just feels like a remix, in a sense, right? Okay. So, 
Well, let me pause it right here. One thing I'm wondering is if they actually combined the intro of Odd uh, into um, and, and Girlfriend into Oddfront. I'm not completely sure. I would have to go back and check what... Uh, no, Odd was the same instrumental. Odd was the same instrumental. So maybe they added the ad instrumental onto Girlfriend. I don't I don't know. It's, it's interesting. Let's, let's continue. See, that part we had. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. The build here is is something else. That's nice. Like I guess, I guess the build ups, the base is a bit more apparent. Ooh. I mean, it's just as good as the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help but sing with it. Even though I'm ruining you guys' ears. It's so good. Mm. I think the vocals, like, it almost sounds like it's the vo exact same vocal track that's just been put into another instrumental. Kim Lip! Okay, that vocal was much more beautiful. Ooh, that's nice. I didn't notice Jinso had that background note before. Okay, damn. Uh, I circle with Art Front. I'm actually kind of surprised, but kind of not surprised that I that I guessed that this would would be over in the same reign as Girlfriend. It's a much it's much more similar than what I was expecting because both the it feels like the um the actual uh, vocals are the exact same uh, that have, and they've just been moved over onto another instrumental. And even the instrumental had the same um, bass line, not bass as in B A S S, but as in, as in B A S E. You know the the standard of the song is the same dun, 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 dun part. Um, it's, uh, it's still very, very good. I feel like there are some parts of the vocals that were much more emphasized uh, in this version of, uh, of I guess, Girlfriend, um, which was really, really cool to see. I heard much more, a lot more of their ad libs and their high notes in the background that and stuff, which was uh, which was super dope. It's not the first time Luna has like multiple songs that have the similar. We have like, what is it? My my Melody, and I believe it's, is it My Sunday? It's also two songs that from, I've, it's like love and live or love and evil one of the two and we have um we also have the uh on from vivi's album we also have both of her songs being basically the same lyrics at least but different instrumentals and then different rappers from each so i think i find it interesting that luna is doing this but i also like it it gives like different views of the songs in two different ways it's very nice yeah, guys, that was Luna's uh, ad, uncover, and art front. A really, really cool dive in to uh, the B-sides of the album. Obviously, uncover is really the only, oh, well, ad is an intro, but uncover is really the only new B-side in this uh, in this part of the album because art front is basically the same as girlfriend with a little bit of a change in the instrumental. It actually, it actually, I actually really like how they're doing some of the songs in two different ways or two different versions because it kind of builds up on this whole point that's been at least so far has been especially in the odd eye circle uh, music videos where they're kind of two dimensions right there there's the earth dimension and the um i guess the eden dimension i don't know there are probably i feel like there are there were three dimensions right but at least um there's if you take like chetty's music video there's a dimension where that's earth dimension and the other dimension when she eats the uh the cherry and stuff so i like the fact that they have these dualities in the music it makes sense when it when you think about there being these uh, different dimensions uh, and i really like it i think they did it very very well and as i said uh before it actually uncovers a lot more of their ad libs and stuff in this uh version which i which i really like let me know what you guys thought about luna's ad uncover and art front down in the comments below and i guess i'll see you guys next time <laughs>